Riva? What are you... Uh, I don't really know why I'm here. And you're glad you can join us. Vinny, I didn't know you were going to be having company. Is that my bag? Vinny, I know you don't like to explain things, but... Then don't ask. I just went a couple of rounds with your cousin. I'm not in the mood to trade shots with you two. All right, but Reva shouldn't be here right now. What is this? All of a sudden, everybody thinks they can tell me how to run my business? The bag, Daniel. Reva and I were just discussing business arrangements. We're almost done. What kind of business? None of yours. The bag. Vinny. Look, I don't know what you told Tony, but don't you think we should let Reva go to the party? She shouldn't be here right now. You and I have some business to discuss. Did you both copy that? I didn't get that. What's going on? Well, it's going to be a change of plans. I've got to get over to the social club. Somehow Salerno got Reva over there. That means, Gus, you are now the point man. Whoever comes down there, you nail them. And I don't care who it is, Spaulding or otherwise, can you do that? You know that I can do it. I gotta get out of here. You got some stones, you know that, Danny? Nobody th This is a setup. What? What do you mean? Do you know anything about this? No, nothing, really, I swear. Somebody set me up. You know who did this? What are you talking about, Vinny? I have no idea. It was somebody that knew what was happening tonight, all right? Somebody that wanted us both to go down. Dirty lousy. All right, Vinny, calm down. Just take it easy. Vinny, kid me? With those cops out there, did you see them surrounding the place? I, I, you know, I had an image of something, but I wasn't sure what the connection was. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, what good that does No, me. you know what? I, I may still be able to help you out here, though. How? By buying some time. She's right, Vinny. The cops have got to know that she's in here. We need to let her go no, first. Too late for that. No, Vinny. If I'm you're going not... down, I'm taking as many of them with me as I can. Vinny, you're not thinking. Listen to me. This is what we need to do. The cops are going to want us to turn ourselves in. So the first thing we do is we let Reva go. We send her out alone as a gesture of goodwill. And that'll give us time to figure out what we need to do. Maybe you're right. How do we handle this? Do we, do we send her at the back of the front? I'm not fussy. But she has to go out the front so the cops know that we're letting her go. Otherwise, it'll look like she's, she escaped. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, now everybody needs to stay away from the windows. <gasps> Did you see that coming? Annie, you know, if you let me walk out of here, I I'll be sure that they know you didn't hurt me and they'll Quiet. go easier on you. No, really, I mean, maybe I can negotiate I'm something. I'm telling you. Work something out so no one else will get shut shot. your mouth. <laughs> All right, let's go. Open the door. You up on the roof. You behind the car. Back off. We can still end this. We can end this without any trouble. We can. We can find a way to do that. Thought you can get the drop on me, huh? All right, listen up. Who's ever in command out there? Here's what's happening. The two of us are getting in my car when we're driving to the airport. When I get there, I want a plane waiting, fueled and ready to go. You play this my way, or you got a dead lady on your hands, all right? Shoot me. What? I mean it. Just shoot me. Go ahead. You've been threatening me over and over again. Just pull the trigger. Reva, what are you doing? What, have you got a death wish? No. I'm psychic, remember? That's why you brought me here in the first place. Fire away! Get out of here. Get out. Finish, Vinny. You are finished. With me and with Michelle, with everybody in this town, you hear me? Yeah, Danny, you are that's finished. Enough. You are done. Danny, finished. Danny, come on. Finished. Come on, that's enough. It's over. It's over. Salerno away for life. 
He's not going to bother us anymore. Michelle, did you hear me? It's safe for you to come back. Honey. Please come back. Come back. Danny. Who? Danny. The, the nurse said that you would be here. Yeah. I just want to see how she was doing. No change. No. Not yet. So I was trying to get Riva away from Salerno and he just whacked me from behind. It's, it's all right. What happened to Riva? She's fine. She managed to get away from me. Did the police shoot this guy? Uh, no, 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 it's Rick, really. I'm fine. That's okay. No, I came to and uh, got Benny to the floor, and the cops came in and busted him. Oh, man, so this makes sense now. The night that Michelle came over, she was upset about something, but she wouldn't tell me what it was. Everybody kind of thought that that was about me buying the election. So you didn't buy it? No, Rick, I didn't. What, you, you're upset that I could possibly think that you might do something like that? Look, it would have been nice to have been given the benefit of the doubt, all right? Uh, you know, for my sister's sake, Danny, I really wanted to believe in you, but fortunately, I know your track record well enough to know that you couldn't possibly change. Well, thanks for keeping up with the charade. Man, Danny, come on, please, all the stuff that you've been into. Stuff that I've been into? Do you have a normal life? Do you have a normal job? Do you come home at night to see your children? Do you keep your wife safe from death threats and warehouse explosions, Dan? Rick, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not fighting with you. I'm just stating fact. No. Anyway, <clears throat> no, I did not buy the election. So a cover so that I could cooperate with O'Neill and the feds. Cooperate? You cooperate? Did the uh, feds make you cooperate? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't matter. Michelle and I were just trying to do the right thing. It really doesn't matter if I don't get her back. You put my little sister right smack in the middle of harm's way once again, Danny. Rick, if you're blaming me... I blame you for putting her into a coma. Who else could I possibly blame? Got work to do. Rick. Is there any change in her prognosis? Oh, she'll come back to us. We just gotta give it some time. I, I hope you don't mind. I came by to see how she's doing. Any change? No. Well, there was... There was some good luck tonight, at least. Hmm? And it was a long time coming, and... Well, we couldn't have done it without you, Danny. I mean, without forcing me to. Well, I prefer not to look at it that way. That's convenient for you. Look, Danny, we've been down this road before. I'm so sorry about Michelle. But you were calling the shots all along. What does that mean? Well, we would have never gotten the breaks we got if it wasn't for you. You opened every door for us. Well, I hope this means that you're done with me, because if I never see you again, it will be too soon. Well, I just wanted you, I wanted you to know that you have the thanks of a grateful government, that's all. Uh, that means the world to me. Just keep your end of the bargain. Make sure that Tony gets immunity. I just want to do whatever I can, you know? Really? Can you bring Michelle back? No. Can you make up for the time my son has lost with his parents? Can you promise me that we'll all be safe while Salerno's plotting away in prison? I can just offer you the deal we offered Eden. Get out. <laughs>